All right. Hello, my friends. I am here to introduce you to the new Luxio collection. Um, this collection has an official release of next week, so you guys will be able to start getting this out to you. Um, but what I wanted to do is, I'm gonna put gloves on so I don't distract you with my colorful nails. Um, what I wanted to do is introduce you to these new colors, show you how they swatch, and also um, show you what they look like matte, and how they compare with other colors in the Luxio line. So, just wanted to get those on so that I don't distract you with my nails. All right, so these are the colors in the new collection as they come. We have Strobe, Pose, Linger, Haida, Saver, and Strut. And you can get them as a mini kit in these tiny little bottles, which is nice if you're not sure some of them are gonna be super popular, but you still wanna have them um, to give a try. There you go. So these are the new colors coming out um, for the September 1st release. Okay, so first we're going to start with number one, Strut. Strut is a beautiful red, a nice deep red. Now it looks a little more orange on the camera than what I'm seeing here. So I'm gonna use this um, swatch because what I like to do is actually swatch on the back and then I can mat it and you can see shiny in the front and um, matte in the back. So I'm gonna show you guys just how nice and solid this swatch is. Now you're always gonna get a little bit of a crevice when you do these rounded tips right at that belly, but as you brush down, you can see that it's super opaque, um, really, really opaque. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in, and while that is getting a little bit of a cure, I'm gonna show you some comparisons of other popular colors. So this is classy compared to Strut. So as you can see, classy is a bit more of a pink, has a bit more pink to it um, than Strut does. Okay, so definitely a, a different shade there. And what I can show you is actually, I can take classy and paint it onto Strut and see if you can see the difference in the camera. It's got more pink to it. It's hard to tell, but Cameras are tricky, but uh, Classy is definitely more of a pink red. Uh, I would say that the new Strut has just a tad more orange to it, um, if you want to compare it that way. You can look at it with Muse. Muse is another very popular red. Again, much more of a berry tone compared to this new Strut, which has more orange to it. So if you can see the difference. It's so hard to see with the reflection. But uh, Muse is definitely more of a berry tone, whereas Strut is more of a darker orange. And then I would say Tantalizing is probably the closest of the um, few, but again, it's gonna have a different tone and it's, if I lean it forward, maybe you can see the difference a smidge more. The light is so bright that it washes out the color differences. So it's really hard to tell. But if you are a nail tech like me and like your clients, know that color differences, even however slight, are obvious to them. So if you hold them here, I think you can see the difference. Um, you've got, this is the new strut, a bit more orange, and tantalizing is a bit more blue. So you can see the differences maybe a little bit better that way. All right, so there is strut. Gonna do a quick second coat on this, and that way I can do the matte for the top coat and it will look gorgeous. You'll be able to see what it looks like matte and shiny on the same swatch, which is a nice little trick. All right, moving on. Let's go to Saver. Saver is a nice, rich wine color. Um, Diva, many, many, many have loved over the years as being our um, our wine that's just been super, super popular over the winter. So this is Saver. And if you compare it with Diva, 
you will see that Diva is much more brown and Saber has more purple to it. Oh, can you even tell? Let's see if I bring it close to each other. So Saber, you can see, is quite a bit more purple and Diva is quite a bit more brown. So then I thought, okay, well, if it's more purple, let's compare it to Potion. Uh, Sharon asks, where can we put your, purchase those specific nail swatch shapes? I do have these almond ones, I believe, still in my store right now. So if you look for the almond swatch sticks, I'll double check, um, but I believe those are still available right now in my store. I, whenever I get new ones, they kind of change, but um, leave me a note on your order and I'll make sure they're the ones that I did in the video. All right, so this is Potion. Potion is absolutely one of my very, very, very most favorite colors. Um, it's this gorgeous pearlescent. I'll show you. Isn't that so pretty? One of my most favorite colors of Luxio. I use it so, so, so much all winter long. Um, but if you compare it side by side, let's see if we can do a little trick here. That's going to be a little messy. that will be a good way maybe for you to see side by side. I feel like Saver is a solid version of Potion. Doesn't have any of that shimmer, but very similar kind of berry tone. Maybe even not quite as red now that I look at it like this. But for someone going for that kind of purpley, like if you lean in this direction, they almost look the same color. One without the shimmer and one with. So... Uh, I think they're very, very similar. Mystery is the other one that I feel like is in that same kind of purpley wine family. Um, also very, very popular. But as you can see, our saver has more red to it. This is Mystery and this is Saver. So the new color is definitely more of a purple wine color. Bespoke or Mulberry? Mulberry is, is pretty close. Let me see if I can grab it for you real quick. Mulberry is an options color, and it is probably, oh, good call, very close to mulberry. Let's check this. Um, some of you may not know that uh, uh, Accents has colors in pots. Um, they may only know about Luxio because it is the most popular line, but uh, the options colors are the original um, line, and it needs stirred, which always always need to stir your options because the gloss layer um, will go up to the top if it's not used all the time and I haven't used this all summer because it's a darker color um, so if you apply it and it looks like that it's because it needs a good stirring with with your Luxio if your colors when you go to use them ever have a little bit of a um, a little bit of a pearlescent, not a pearlescent, like a marbling look to it, it probably needs stirred. So I wiped this down with acetone just so I could get a nice solid finish to paint on. So Mulberry has a little bit of a translucence to it, but if you compare the colors, still more purple. So your Saver has more of a purple tone even than Mulberry. You can see it pretty well um, in the camera, I think that it definitely is more purple, whereas mulberry is more of a reddish brown. All right, but thanks for asking about that. That was a great one to check comparison on. All right, so that is our saver. Beautiful wine color, not really anything quite like it um, in the Luxio collection at the moment. So that's a great addition. All right, let's go into hiatus. Hiatus is a cool one. Um, I have a couple of clients who absolutely love these kind of neutrally greens and taupes and things like that. And so this is actually, um, when I've been telling them about these new colors coming, this is one of the ones they're most excited about. Um, this is what it looks like straight out. Oh, I forgot to swatch this. Just a moment. Can't show you it in matte if I don't swatch it. This is Saver. Okay. 
All right, now hiatus. Let's do the same thing with this one. So, really nice, beautiful color. Now, if you didn't know, Accents has actually been working on nail tech. Um, has been working on the shape of their brush. So the brushes are actually slightly different um, than some of the older brushes. If you looked at it, if I let it fan out, see if you look at it, it's a little bit rounded on top. Do you see that? It's because they've actually changed the shape of the brush to better um, mirror the shape of a natural cuticle. So even their brushes, they try to make sure are the best. So little secret there. All right, let's do some comparisons. This is hiatus. And I wanted to show you compared to incognito because when I first saw it, it's my clients that like vert and incognito that I thought, oh, these are going to be, this is going to be theirs. Oh, this is a great example. So I grabbed a new one because mine are all dusty. Um, so I grabbed a new one and this one has that marbling I'm talking about. If you get a new color, no matter what color it is, if your brush looks like this, it is not properly mixed. You're going to not get the coverage that you should be getting with this color. So to fix this, Yes, you can shake to death, um, or you can let it sit with an eye mix for about 15 cycles. My best and fastest way to mix this properly is take a spatula. We have double-sided spatulas in the store. This is the old one that's only one-sided. Put it in the bottom and give it a, get a little bit of a mix. Okay. Give it a little bit of a mix, and then I'm going to pound it in my hand a little bit. But see already how much smoother that looks without a whole lot of work? I mean, it's so much easier just to give it a quick little mix with your spatula. And you really only have to do this when your color is new. When you've used it, you know, even once a month, it's not going to be needing to get mixed. And now I'm just pounding this. So I make sure it's nice and tight in your hand, and I'm just pounding this on the palm of my hand a few times just to make sure everything's good and mixed. And now it's nice and perfectly creamy. Okay, do you see that? So if you have that purling on your brush where that marbling, get your spatula out, give it a good little mix and a stir, and it's gonna save you a lot of headache um, trying to get it to mix by either just pounding or any other method. Just trust me, use the spatula, makes life easier. All right, so this is incognito. And the reason this one probably has been sitting longer is because we're just now getting into the fall where incognito is going to be sold in mass quantities. In the summer, we're not selling it quite as much, so it might have been sitting on the shelf a little bit longer than something like, say, Bombshell, which is a bright pink that's been selling a lot all summer. So your fall colors, um, unless it's one of the brand new collections, if it's been sitting on the shelf um, a few months just waiting to be sold, you might see that color uh, marbling a little bit more um, pretty much know what or what distributor you get it from. So this is the comparison. So incognito is obviously much more green. You've got a lot more taupe in hiatus. So you're getting that same kind of very earthy tone, but it's a lot more of a taupe color. All right. The last um, collection had swank. Very yellow in comparison, but if your clients liked Swank, they're very likely going to like this new hiatus. It's you know it's one of those very neutrally um, earthy colors. And last, I'll show you what Vert looks like. Oh, again, Vert hasn't been sold much over the summer because it is a fall color. But again, I'm going to just use my spatula, give it a little bit of a stir. Get the excess off. We never want to waste anything as much as possible. I like to keep everything in the jar. In that sense, you know, when you have a jar that's running low, um, for example, top gloss. We all go through so much top gloss, it's not even funny. And when you're getting to maybe 80% to the bottom of it where you're having to tip your bottle all the time, just put it aside and grab another top gloss. When you start to get low on the second bottle, 
flip the first one upside down and combine them and then you don't have any waste. Luxio does not have any solvents in it, so you're not gonna have a problem with the chemistry changing over time or anything dissipating out of the bottle. So you can combine like that and not waste any money. So that's my suggestion there. So here's Vert, and Vert is quite a bit darker green compared to Hiatus. So for those who really like the earthy shades, I have a lot of clients that do, especially in the summer. Um, I've got some that have been coming in lately and going, I can't wait, I get to do that color I like next time. And it's, and I'm like, oh, there might be a new one. So that is hiatus. All right, let's get a second coat on some of these bad boys. And that one has it for two coats. Let's throw a second coat on stretch. Or saber, stretch, saber. beautiful wine color. I like these, but again, it, it doesn't give you any like in this little circle. So you see a little bit of translucency, which, you know, me being a little bit of a perfectionist drives me a little bit crazy. So I have to play with it a little bit to get it how I want it to be. All right. And hiatus. coat very nice and solid very kind of a taupey earthy color all right next linger it looks so orange in the camera it's hilarious okay so linger is definitely brown now if i'm gonna wait for the color to catch up but it looks it looks less orange in person than it does in the camera but Let's talk about Linger. All right, in comparison, I think number one, people were going, well, what about Coco? How close is it to Coco? Let me show you. Here is Coco and the new Linger. And Coco has a completely different tone to it. Do you guys see that? Completely different shade of brown. Coco almost looks like it's purple compared to the color of this brown. So very, very different Coco. And then I thought, all right, well, what about Aficionado? Aficionado is also a great brown, very popular in the fall. And this one needs a stir. I don't even want to show it to you without giving it a good stir because um, it doesn't give you a good example. If I just grabbed mine off the shelf, I wouldn't have to be mixing all these, but I went ahead and got new ones so that they're all pretty for you because mine are... Mine are salon colored, which means that they are dusty. And uh, I was, just wanted to make sure I could get this video out for you guys today. So I had to trade making all my bottles pretty for grabbing new ones for you. All right. So Aficionado is a much, much darker brown. Do you guys see that? much darker similar in tone maybe but certainly a different shade um definitely a different different shade than this lovely new color this is linger now for those of you who are trying to decide what fall colors to get i did want to show you mystical because if you don't have it you should um it is an absolutely gorgeous fall color this is in comparison to mystical mystical has that shimmer built right in so it's a nice brown with that little bit of uh, glitteriness to it that's gorgeous so there wasn't really any other browns to compare this to um so i thought eh, i'll show you i'll show you mystical because it is one of my favorite browns to use all winter long all right let's swatch linger But did you see how nice that new brush just goes right up around that front because it's got that rounded end? It's really cool. I like when the chemists think, oh, I could do something better with this. And they do. All right. And did I do two coats of hiatus? I think so because that looks really, really solid. All right. Let's put that there. Okay, so 
while we're curing that, let's go on to Pose. Pose is a lovely rose color. Uh, it's always nice to get more pinks. I feel like in the land of, uh, of nails, you can never have too many pinks. So, and this one just finished. I'm just gonna do my second coat real quick so I can close that up. And we will do a coat of pose. So, when it comes to pinks, you know, you can never have too many pinks. This is just a gorgeous rosy pink color, not overly vibrant. I think it's great for fall because you really can dress it with any kind of neutral and it won't look too over the top pink. Let's do some comparisons. So, I thought first when I saw it that it did remind me a lot of Chic which is a very favorite pink of mine. I use Chic all year long. I go through it quite a bit. Um, see how it has a little bit of pearl to it? When your bottle looks like this, when it's brand new, it needs a stir. So I think this is a really good lesson today on y'all on, you know, when you get a new bottle, give it a stir. Sharon says, my clients say I don't have the right color of pink out of the 7,250 shades she has. Well, maybe Pose will be the right pink. <laughs> and if you don't have Chic, it's super um, pretty. I have one client who all year long will get Chic. So it is a favorite. It's one of the few colors of Accents Luxio that has a pearl to it. So most of Accents colors, if you've used uh, Luxio for a while, um, they don't have a lot of shimmers to them and they don't have a lot of pearls to them. You'll have maybe one in a collection, which is true with this collection. You'll have one, which is strobe, that has a little bit of a frost to it. But most of the time, all of the colors are cream. And the reason is, is because Accents came out with, um, effects colors. So instead of having to have a pink with a blue shimmery, um, you just have the blue effects top coat and you pick the pink that you want and you use the blue effects top coat on it and now your pink has a blue shimmer. So there's a reason that Luxio doesn't come with a million different um, shimmers and frosts and things like that because they they give you the option with the effects top coats. There's six of them or the luminous. This is the luminous pearl, which I used just the other day um, on a very light pink. And this will give any color a pearl to it. And there's three luminous colors. And this is the mini bottle. We still have a couple of the mini sets left because I got a gazillion of them because when they came out, I'm like, oh my gosh, everybody needs to try these. So there's lots of these little mini sets. But again, you can create this pearlescent effect on any color you want, instead of having to have a color that only has a pearlescent. This one color can have 10 looks. Three luminous pearlescent options and six effects options plus regular gloss and matte. Six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11 looks. 11 looks with one color. So use your, use your effects, lose your luminous. And you know, you can do one swatch wheel of a couple different colors with all the ways that you can offer it, and that will help your clients get to see what their options are. All right, going back to comparison. Here's Chic next to Pose. Chic's a little bit lighter, and Pose is a cream, and Chic is a pearl. So as you can see, Chic has this really nice pearl to it, and it is not near as dark as Pose, but the same kind of rosy tone. You know, if you, if you angle it, you can see they're both kind of that rosy color, but with Chic, it's lighter and it has a little bit of a pearl to it. And Pose is a cream with no pearl. Okay, so that's the comparison of those two. Let's check Vibrant, because I thought, oh, Vibrant's pretty close as well. But Vibrant is actually quite a bit more purple and much brighter, do you see? So not the same, very, very different. And the only other one I could find that maybe was quite similar was Infinite. But again, so much more purple, not even close. So 
really chic, I would say, is probably the closest you're going to find to this particular tone, but chic is a pearlescent, and it's lighter. This is a little bit darker of a rose, so really nice for fall. All right. And we will do our second coat here. There's the fuzz, got it. Okay. Alrighty, last but not least, we have strobe. Strobe lights. So strobe is a creamy, it's a creamy white color um, with a little bit of a pearl to it. So it's going to be great for any kind of a bride, anyone who, want, you know, loves to wear white all summer long and like cries because they feel like they can't wear white after summer. This is a very, you know, like a winter white is how I would kind of say. There's a little black speck in there. Get out, black speck. You are not invited to the party. All right, but as you can see, if you look, let's see if I can get it to focus. Do you see that very slight shimmery pearl to it? It's really subtle. So for someone that's scared of sparkle, this is a really, really nice, um, nice one for that. Someone just said winter snowflakes. You know what would be really pretty is actually to do this and then do bright white snowflakes on top, and you would get that kind of cool winter white snowflake effect without being able, having to go dark. So yeah, very, very cool idea. Or you can use like snow white pasties or something. Okay, so I'm going to show you with finesse. Oh, goodness. Again, brand new bottle. Needs a quick stir and a quick beating. This is where you get your... Uh, <laughs> Lexi says, done, we're doing it. She's one of my clients. All right, give it a quick stir. And we will give it a little bit of a beating. Always have to hold tight. Sometimes after I bang it a few times, I check again because I've had it come untwisted in my hand before. But after you just give it a stir and everything, see how much perfect, perfect. All right, so this is the comparison of strobe to finesse. Finesse is a cream version and maybe a bit darker. Do you see the difference? It's definitely not the same. Um, your new strobe with that pearl makes it a completely different shade than Finesse, for sure. All right. The next one I thought of was, oh, it's really close to Proposal. Let me grab my proposal so I don't have to keep shaking these because, again, proposal has a little bit of a shimmer. So same thing. I guess I'll just mix it again. Okay. Take your clean spatula. Give it a little bit of a mix on the bottom. It really just lifts those pigments up and makes sure that everything's going to be nice and even when you give it a good shake. Um, and especially when you have something like this that has a frost, because this one is another one that has a frost similar to um, this new strobe. You always want to make sure you get those, you know, the, the frosted particles, those pigments are a bit heavier. And so it's really important to get those lifted. But once you've mixed it, like I said, if you're using it even once a month, you might do a couple of pounds in the palm of your hand, and that's all you're ever going to have to do. Once you've used this, you're not going to have to mix it very much at all. Accents has extremely good stabilizers in the product. All right, so here you go. This is the comparison to Proposal. Oopsies. Proposal is quite a bit more nude. Do you see that? Strobe has more of a white tint, and you've got more of a yellowy nude tint with proposal but for a bride you know that's going for a specific tint um it's great to have a lot of these options 
And also in sight, I was thinking, oh, in sight, but no, in sight is like so peach, not even close. So I was just thinking of, I think, wedding colors, and in sight is one of those that I consider kind of one of those great wedding colors, which is why I grabbed it. All right, what's going on here? All right, we have two coats of that already, looking gorgeous. And we need to do, that's got two coats, looks good and solid. We'll do one more coat of this, and then I'm gonna top coat these in matte to show you guys what the matte comparison is for these colors. Okay. Well, that is in. Okay, so I'm gonna use Matte On from Luxio. You can use Matte On, you can use, um, Ugly Duckling Matte is very, very popular as well. Any matte that you so very much love. Uh, when Matte On first came out from Luxio, it didn't quite have enough of what makes matte matte. I don't even know what it is. I don't know if it's a pigment or particles, but if you look at it now, they reformulated it a couple times. You can tell that that is gonna be a really nice, good matte. So it used to look almost clear when it was brand new. Um, and they first did matte. They were one of the first companies to come out with a matte. It just wasn't matte enough. And they have since, the chemists have since reformulated it a couple of times, I think. And they've gotten it down to where it's, you can see all of these, all that white in there. That's what really gives it that matte velvety finish. So by using the swatches like this, where you are putting them upside down, and doing the matte underneath, it lets you kind of cheat because you can show your clients the color shiny on top and the color matte on the bottom. So, let's get these in there before I screw them up because I am human. It's always nice to see a velvety red. I do a lot of matte on velvet red. And then what you can really do that's super pretty is do like a plaid stamp over the top of it. If you don't have the plaid stamping plates from Uber Chic, we have them all in stock now because of course it hasn't quite hit the season yet. We always sell out because the plaid are so much fun. Um, but get all these in there without messing anything up okay so that is uh the comparison with these new colors again you can get them as a full size set um i have a link on my website so if you get them full size you save i don't know a couple bucks um, or you can get them as the limited edition mini set. Now these are limited edition, which means we pre-order them as a distributor before they even come out. And once they sell, they sell. Ah, Talon asked, what about Dreamy? Let me grab my Dreamy. And we shall take a look. All right. Let me just make sure it's not too dusty because it's salon Dreamy. All right. So... I've used Dreamy many, many times, so this bottle's probably a little bit low. But Dreamy is more white. Similar in shimmer, I would say, to Dreamy, but definitely more white. I feel like the people really like Koi and how kind of not as bright Koi is. And I would say this new strobe kind of follows that um, trend where it's not quite as bright. Um, so you can see here, you've got Dreamy on the right and the new strobe on the left. So Dreamy is quite a bit brighter, brighter white. Alrighty. Well, hopefully that helps clear up all of that. We will just take these out and we'll look at how they look matte. Here is our Linger. 
Linger Shiny, Linger Matte. Hiatus. Hiatus Shiny, Hiatus Matte. Red is strut. Wipe all that tacky off. I like to give it a really good scrub when I'm going matte. And then I also don't top, uh, don't give them cuticle oil at the end of their service. If you're doing someone's nails in matte and then you put oil on them, you're gonna lose that matte. So don't put cuticle oil at the end of their service. Just let them do that when they want. Um, if they do oil, do notice that their matte isn't looking quite as matte at home, just tell them to clean them up. Uh, and take a look. All right, here's Saver Shiny and Saver Matte. Trying to get all these kind of in there, but making a little bit of a mess on my table, running out of room. All right, Sharon would like to see what this looks like with Hush. I'll grab it in just a second. Here's Strobe Shiny and Strobe Matte and Pose. Pose shiny, pose matte. So those are all the matte versus shiny versions. They come out really pretty. Uh, let me grab Hush. Okay. And comparing it to Strobe, I'm guessing, um, completely different color. It's more putty. Did you see that? way different to Hush. Hush is more of a nude uh, than it is a kind of a white. So that is Hush. So there we go, my friends. I hope that helps let you guys see it. I can put all of these together shiny and then I'll put them together matte. Maybe that'll look a little bit nicer on my table. Go away, stick. All right. There we go. I hope that helped you guys with checking out the new colors. And um, if you have any questions, please feel free to comment below. And I will um, do my best to get back to you. Um, but hopefully this helps you guys get excited about fall and what's coming. Um, I've been adding new products to the website like crazy stamping plates, glitters. I'll be adding more stuff to the website tonight, but I think over the last week, I think I've added 100 products. So if you shop at lovenails.com, go online, take a look, do a little browsing. You might see something new that you like. So uh, we will check you guys later, and I hope you enjoy this introduction to the new fall collection. We'll talk to you later. Bye.